This is my favorite brand of chips. Once I start these bad boys, it's so hard to stop. So why do we crave junk food and will we ever stop? Chips were made to be addictive. The saltiness, the crunch, and just how easy it is Extra to flavor eat. locked inside every potato chip. Everything has been engineered to make us want it. And it's not just the chips that we need to worry about. We've now got peanut butter filled donuts, a milkshake topped with cake, and what is this? So I've had a love-hate relationship with junk food. You know, I would get these cravings uh, after the gym, uh, after work. I started questioning why do I always keep craving junk food. So to better understand this, I think it's best to figure out how we get these cravings in the first place. And you know what, I think it might surprise you. It turns out when we see a burger or that cream cheese bagel, our blood sugar levels drop and there's a rise in insulin. Our stomach relaxes, begins to get ready and tells our brain to eat. We begin to anticipate the food and we start releasing a hormone called dopamine, which also gets released when we have sex, drink alcohol, and of course, eat. But that's the least of our problems. The real problems actually start when we get these cravings and just how we feel in the moment. Yeah. So that's basically how cravings work. So why do we get these cravings in the first place? I've found two answers for this. A craving is basically a habit. We've got a trigger, let's say seeing a fast food ad, a routine, which is how we react to seeing this ad, and then you've got the reward. The thing is, these habits will always be a part of us. It's sort of like how we remember how to ride a bike. That's why there's always gonna be a small part of us that craves. Junk food. If you're like me, you have a second brain for your stomach, and there actually might be some science to that. A comment on a Medium article on the neuroscience of craving, and they mentioned something about Bio. millions of bacteria in the gut that enable digestion and cravings according to the food you eat. So I'm guessing what this means is that there's bacteria in our gut that have a mind of their own and can maybe alter what we crave or what we want to eat. That's actually pretty cool. I had to find out more, so I went to the most scholarly academic place that I could think of, Reddit. Evil vicious cycle, guts bacteria's hive, feed and develop flora. Okay, these are just opinions, but what does science say? So in our gut, there's bacteria, good and bad. They can send messages to your brain via our nerves, and the microbes in our gut get used to what we eat. They start craving and expecting the same type of food over and over again. Maybe that's why starting a new diet is hard. If we're coming from a place where we're having chocolate, chips, and ice cream on a regular basis, our gut is naturally just gonna be like, whoa man, hold up, what you doing? Back up a minute. Look, there could be a lot of things that could affect what we want and what we crave, but there's a common theme here, and the theme is reaction. How we react to these cravings. Yeah, we see some cupcakes on Instagram. These thoughts are gonna happen, and I don't think there will ever be a point where we don't crave junk food. Let's start analyzing and writing down everything that could trigger our craving in the first place, because that's, I think, the first step. We make a video, actually, I'll make a series on this uh, in the future, so hit that subscribe button and that notification bell too. That like button, it really actually helps this video get spread everywhere. So, uh, but what are your thoughts on cravings? What triggers yours? Let me know down below. Bye.